Welcome to PSHS News. I'm Rebecca Hawkins. And I'm Dexter Harris. This week, PSHS graduates return to talk about their accomplishments. Sports teams are as active as ever. PS State students travel abroad. The school's anthropology club has been busy. Students become engineers. And finally, grade 12s enroll in post-secondary education. Bob Rice, a PSHS graduate, returned to the school recently to talk about his book and his job as a video journalist for CBC. Having Wob Rice come and talk to the Comtech students was really helpful uh, because he's working as a video journalist for CBC. I got asked by CBC in Winnipeg to apply for a job out there. So after a long interview and application process, I got the job and I've been at CBC ever since. So he was able to tell the kids what a typical day looked like for him when he was working and show them some of his news stories, break it down for them so that they can learn from his work how to actually do the news, which is great for, great for the grade 12 ComTech class for sure. Wob has been at CBC News for, in Ottawa for a year and has also written a book. Real inspiration for students here at Perry Sound High School to have someone like Wob Rice come, uh, someone who's been a student here, who's lived here, and now is working for CBC as a video journalist and has written a book and published it and came back here to share all of those this past week, our cross-country running team has been busy once again competing in the MPS race held locally at the Georgian Bay Ski Club. Midget girls finished second overall, junior girls second overall, senior girls third overall, senior boys third overall, and junior boys first overall. On October 26th, the team ran at the GB Championship. Now over to Ethan for more on the GB race. I'm Ethan Bomanis, and I'm speaking with Carolina Kolka, a runner on our school's cross-country running team. All right, just to start things off, what are the GBs? We hear about them all the time on the announcement, but I'm, on the announcements, but I'm fairly certain that there's a large group of the people at the school that have no idea what they are. Well, GBs are um, they're called Georgia Bays, and they're for all the district around Georgia Bay to come and race to see who gets to make it to Offsa. Uh, how well did you think the team performed during these? Uh, was everyone giving it 110 percent? Our team performed amazing, actually. Like our team always gives it like 105 percent, 150 percent, and they always just try their best to do what they can. And I think they did really well for what we did. Cool. Um, so, if these were the championships, uh, does that imply that there won't be any more races held, or will there be more? No, there's that. Uh, GBs are at the end of the season race. So after GBs, there are no more races, for the exception that if you make it to offset, then there's, that's the last race. Uh, did anyone from this team make it into offset? We had one, one competitor from our team make it to offset, Merrick, and we're really proud of Merrick. Right. Thank you very much. So Merrick Biakowski will be traveling to Offsa to compete for our school. Congratulations to all of the runners that made our school proud. This is Ethan Bananas reporting for PSHS Sports. PSHS students have been on many class trips this week as the grade 10 history class went to the Warplane Museum and the Hockey Hall of Fame and the geography class went to Kensington Market. Anthropology is a smashing hit with the students. The art and entertainment crew have dug out the details. As you can see, the people of Anthropology Club are really hard at work. Wow. Rebuilding the pottery that they had previously just smashed. And here we have last year's discovery that of the remains of a deer that was found near the track. Here we have the head of the Anthropology Club, Ms. Rice. Uh, Ms. Rice, what made you think that this would be a very perfect idea for this high school? Well, uh, personally, this was my major in university, so I wanted to bring a different flavor of science to the high school, because I find that uh, things like this don't generally get offered in a high school. I mean, personally, I never got this offered to me in high school. So I thought, what an interesting thing. Uh, it's promoting a lot of really great ideas and great thoughts in a uh, different form of science. Thank you. But most of the time in anthropology, it's not just about work. Sometimes there's a hint of play involved. Here they have displayed the recently donated from one student. That of a moose, a fox, and a squirrel. Okay. 
This is Ryan Starkey from PSHS News. For defense, here's Greg St. Pierre on the Science and Engineering Olympics. Hello, my name is Greg, and I'm here with Parasite High School student Riley Bloomfield, and he is about to tell us a bit about how it was at the Science and Engineering competition. Who all attended the Science and Engineering competition? competition and where did it all take place? Uh, well it was at McMaster University in Hamilton and uh, it was Caitlin Moffat, Calvin Brereton, Graham Browning, uh, Cody Hose and Zach Jackson that competed. What were some of the events that took place and what did the students find interesting? Um, well there was an assortment of uh, events. Some of them um, they had to build a certain um, for example, a paper uh, plane, uh, paper boats that had to float a certain distance. There's also some problem solving uh, skills that they needed to do with some math questions that they had. So there was five different events. Um, there was also an egg throw that they had to um, uh, land at a certain target without their egg breaking. So there was lots of different um, skills that they needed to use, both using math and science skills. Was this a great experience, and why? Yeah, it was good. I think everyone had fun, and uh, it was kind of nice to go see the university and different things they offer there. I'm Greg Stamp here, talking from Perry Sound High School, PSHS News. And that PSH's Jonas Paywis and Tyson Pamajuan caught up with Mr. Weichel on how to apply for college and university. Here's the events team. Hey, I'm Tyson Pamajuan from PSHS News, and I'll be shooting it over to Jonas to talk to Mr. Weichel about the process of getting into college and university. And universities. Um, the process starts in mid-November when uh, people at OCAS and OU want to pick up the PIN numbers uh, and that facilitates the university application process. Uh, the nice people from OCAS, which is the College Application Centre, um, they tell us that on October 31st students are going to be eligible to apply. So the deadline uh, for the process is um, late January, early February for uh, universities uh, and the college applications usually roll out until about the end of February to be considered for what's called equal consideration. Uh, so we uh, set up a session with all of our potential graduates in grade 12, whether they're applying to college or university or heading into apprenticeships or the world of work uh, earlier on in the school year just to sort of get them prepared, um, give them the heads up on what to expect. Um, in the recent past, we've had various colleges and universities uh, and the armed forces uh, come through and they're doing uh, individual presentations about their school, saying why they might be the school of choice for, for specific students. All right, that's it. Uh, this is Tyson from Majwan and Jonas Payless from PSHS News, Perry Sound High School. A grade 11 student is working with Modiso this week at the Stockey Center. What's more so? Tune in next week to find out. To play you out, we asked PSHS students what they were going out for Halloween as. See you next week. See, my friend is going to be an outlet and I'm going to be a plug. <laughs> my friend and I have planned to dress up as like hobos and sit at the end of my driveway. A pirate. A super nerd. Dexter Harris. Probably I'm going to be a bunny. Um, I'm going to be Link from Zelda. I'm going to be a fairy. I'm going as Devin Havlin for Halloween. I'm going as Santa Claus for Halloween. <laughs>